Welcome to Morning Prayer on this Sunday, the 28th week of Ordinary Time. Our morning prayer today begins on page 406 in our prayer books. Let us join together and pray. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm, keep us from evil. Yahweh is mighty indeed. O come, let us adore him. Hallelujah. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with song. For Yahweh is a great God, the great King over all other gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the mightiest mountains as well. The sea belongs to him, for he made it. The dry land too. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. Oh, that today you would listen to Yahweh's voice, Harden not your hearts, as Israel did at Meribah, as they did at Massa in the wilderness. For there your ancestors tested and tried my patience, even though they saw everything I did. For forty years I was angry with them, and I said, They are a people whose hearts turn away from me. So I swore in my anger. They will never enter my place of rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Yahweh is mighty. The night is past, and the daylight is open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Yahweh is, as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence set our hearts in fire with love for you. Amen. Our hymn for this morning's prayer is hymn number three on page 724. Awake my soul, and with the sun, thy daily stage of duty run. Shake off dull sloth, and joyful rise, to pay thy more. And live this day as if thy last, and prove thy talent with due care. For the great day thyself prepare. Let all thy speaking be sincere, thy conscience as the noonday clear. Think how beholds thy ways, and all thy secret thoughts surveys. By influence of the light divine, let thine own light to others shine. Reflect all heaven's beauteous rays in ardent love and cheerful praise. Awake and lift up thyself, my heart, and with the angels bear thy part, who all night long unwearied sing, I praise to the eternal King. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord God of hosts. Alleluia. With longing to enter the courts of the Lord. With my whole being, body, and soul, I will shout joyfully to the living God. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the swallow builds her nest and raises her young. At a place near your altar, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. What joy for those who can live in your house always singing your praises. What joy for those whose strength comes from the Lord, who have set their minds on a pilgrimage to Jerusalem. When they walk through the valley of weeping, it will become a place of refreshing springs. The autumn rains will clothe it with blessings. They will continue to grow stronger, and each of them will appear before God in Jerusalem. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Listen, O God of Jacob, O God, look with favor upon the king, our shield. Show favor to the one you have anointed. A single day in your courts is better than a thousand anywhere else. 
I would rather be a gatekeeper in the house of my God than live the good life in the homes of the wicked. For the Lord is our God, is our sun and our shield. He gives us grace and glory. The Lord will withhold no good thing from those who do what is right. O Lord of hosts, what joy for those who trust in you. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord God of hosts. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Bless the Lord, you angels of the Lord. Bless the Lord, all you powers of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, you heavens. Bless the Lord, sun and moon. Bless the Lord, you stars of the sky. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all rain and dew. Bless the Lord, fire and heat. Bless the Lord, scorching wind and bitter cold. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, nights and days. Bless the Lord, light and darkness. Bless the Lord, lightning and clouds and hills. Bless the Lord, everything growing from the earth. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, springs of water. Bless the Lord, seas and rivers. Bless the Lord, all water creatures. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, birds of the air. Bless the Lord, beasts of the wild. Bless the Lord, flocks and herds. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, men and women everywhere. Bless the Lord, O Israel. Bless the Lord, priests and servants of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all you of upright spirit. Bless the Lord, you that are holy and humble in heart. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord, Hananiah, Azariah, and Mishael. Praise and exalt him above all forever. How lovely is your dwelling. Praise the Lord. How good to sing praises to our God. How delightful and how fitting. The Lord is rebuilding Jerusalem and bringing the exiles back to Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. He counts the stars and calls them all by name. How great is our God. His power is absolute. His understanding is beyond comprehension. The Lord supports the humble, but he brings the wicked down into the dust. Sing out your thanks to the Lord. Sing praises to our God with harp. He covers the heavens with clouds, provides rain for the earth, and makes the grass to grow in mountain pastures. He gives food to the wild animals and feeds the young ravens when they cry. He takes no pleasure in sending or in the strength of a horse or in human might. No, the Lord delights in those who fear him, those who put their hope in his unfailing love. Glory to the Lord. Strengthen the bars of your gates and bless your children within your walls. He sends peace across your nation and satisfies your hunger with the finest wheat. He sends his orders to the world. How swiftly his word flies. He sends the snow like white wool and scatters upon frost upon the ground like ashes. He hurls the hail like stones. Who can stand against his freezing cold? Then at his command it all melts. He sends his winds and the ice thaws. He has revealed his words to Jacob, his decrees and regulations to Israel. He has not done this for any other nation, but they do not know his regulations. Praise the Lord. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord God of hosts. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord God of hosts. Alleluia. Our scripture reading for this morning's prayer is from 2 Timothy chapter 2. 
Remember that Jesus is descendant of King David, was raised from the dead. This is the good news I preach. If we die with him, we will also live with him. If we endure hardship, he will reign, we will reign with him. If we deny him, he will deny us. If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny who he is. Blessed be the Lord our God, who guides us in paths of peace. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed be the Lord our God, who guides us in paths of peace. Alleluia. Loving God, the rising sun chases away the night, just as the power of death is scattered through the resurrection. As we rejoice this morning in your presence, we thank you for your many gifts. For the community of faith which we share in our community, we give you thanks, Lord God. For those with whom we work or share common concerns, we give you thanks, Lord God. For the indications of your love at work in the world, we give you thanks, Lord God. For those who strive to bring about reconciliation and peace, we give you thanks, Lord God. The dawn of your love reveals your victory and brightens the lives of all who need you. In particular, this morning, we pray for the needs of the church and the world. For families suffering separation, discord, and pain, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For those we seek to avoid because of our differences with them. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For those isolated by sickness or sorrow, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For victims of violence and warfare, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For the witness of the Christian Church in Australia and the islands of the Pacific, Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. In the power of the Spirit, we also lift before you the needs and intentions that are close to our hearts. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. With confidence, we lift all these needs before the Father, uniting them with the perfect prayer that our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father of mercy, your love embraces all, and through the resurrection of your Son, you call each of us into your wonderful light. Dispel our darkness and make us a people with one heart and one voice, forever singing your praise in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 
We praise you, O God, we acclaim you as the Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim, sing an endless praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty and bounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you did not abhor the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory, and we believe you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with all your saints into everlasting glory. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have beheld his glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. Now may the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways and our day in his peace. May souls of the faithful departed, through the mercies of God, rest in peace. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, thank you for being here this morning with me in prayer to our God. May he bless you and keep you this day. Remember always to think about others, be a blessing to them, and see Christ in each one you meet today. Amen.